And they apparently liked what they saw because they, they flew me in for another audition. And I thought, well, maybe I shot my wad here with this first audition. Right. But, but apparently they liked what they saw there, so that's how it came about. But the thing, you talk about Houlihan. Right. I mean, anytime you have an ego <laughs> my size, no. No. Oh, no. Uh, you want your name to go as high as it can in the industry, you know, as Bob Wells in my case. And they that my friend calls me after the audition and they had looked at it and they said uh, he said you know the uh, you got the job if you want it but there's one little thing they want to call you Houlihan the weatherman and I'm going uh, uh, you know <laughs> does the job depend on it he says yeah they're pretty strong for it I says all right okay I'll be Houlihan the weatherman so that's how it came about. And by the way, a year before that, you might wonder where the name Houlihan came from in the first place. Before A year before that, the promotion manager was in Chicago at a promotion director's convention. And at that time, this is way before Dish TV and Satellite and all the other channels we can watch now, hundreds of them, you know. There were like the local stations, and that was it. You know, maybe five stations at any given time, a few VHF and UHF stations. And Chicago had maybe six. And at that time, uh, because there were so few stations and the, the thing was about that thick, you know, right, they, right. they went outside. And in this case, they also showed Peoria, Illinois station. Okay. okay. And they also used to say they had you know, such and such newsman, such and such sportsman, such and such weatherman. Right. Including the Peoria uh, listing, you know, in this Chicago TV guide. And he's looking through it in his hotel room after the long day of uh, conventioning. And he looks at it and says, oh, Bill, uh, weatherman, Bill Houlihan. He's going, Houlihan, the weatherman. Is that catchy or what? You know? <laughs> so he forgets about it, comes back home. A year later, I audition. We go through this whole thing. Do you want to be weather, uh, Houlihan or whatever? And they had this Monday morning bull session after they hired me. Right. And it was like, uh, hey, guys, what do you think? Should we let him have his own name as Bob Wells or should we call him some stage name and, and he says how about Houlihan the weatherman and they're going get out of here you know? <laughs> but they thought hmm now in the back of their minds I know they're thinking now if he becomes very popular in the marketplace and another station hires him away from us if we name him something that is our property exactly right. he won't be able to be Houlihan the weatherman so that's how it came about. Ah, so they trademarked you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you may be interested to know, by the way, that with Gallardi, you know, way back when, and he was G H O U L A R D I. Gallardi. That's not even how he spelled it when he signed it. You remember how he signed it? G O U L A R D I. So if he was lured away by another station, he could have taken that name with him. Right. Trademark. Ernie was no fool. <laughs> <laughs> one of the questions once again, you got a chance to work with, with the All Stars and to be in some of the sketches and behind the scenes with him. What was it like working with Ernie? Well, you know, it's crazy. He was such a unique individual. Uh, I respected him as a talent and, and a skilled person. But there were, I don't want to get into it, but there were certain things about his personality. When he wasn't in power, he was just the nicest guy. You and me, we'd be just be talking, you know, having drinks the whole bit. But when he had an ounce of power, he kind of rubbed it into people. <laughs> and that's not me. Right. And so we had this conflict. I, I noticed that in all the pictures I see something when you were there, you were very much in the, the background. Well, you're I You're there, but you're in the background. Yeah, it's true. And on the Good Arty All-Stars, mm -hmm. I was at first base. He let me play first base. Uh, dropped the ball a few times. He was not too happy about that. But anyway, so anyway, uh, but I, I finally got him one time, and he what, was one of the old times. He only times he really kind of appreciated my sense of humor. I was on the air, and he followed. You know, right away. I was on. I was 11:25, and uh, he followed at 11:30 with with the Gallardi show, and. 
I, I, I did the weather, did the forecast and the whole thing. I said, I left enough time to say this. I says, you know, not many people know that Gillardi was not born in the usual way. And I had this set up in advance for them to take a shot of a bush. I don't know where it came from. It was just sitting in the corner. It had a little light on it. So I had the cameraman get a shot of this bush over in the corner. And it says, now that over there, you know, most people don't know this, but that is a Gillardi bush. Gillardi was born by budding and, and flowering and he off that bush. And to this day, we don't know whether Gillardi was a nut or a fruit. <laughs> he appreciated that. He said something about it on the air, you know, because that was live too. Right, right. You know, so I mean, so, you know, it was just one of those neat things that we had to kind of a report going there.